Hello, my name is Elena Andres. I'm a senior in the BFA program at UNM. I would like to present my progression in the arts from youth into the present. Here are some multimedia drawings and paintings on paper from high school. At this point in my life, visual arts was a primary interest, but not my dream job, as you could say. I often drew the female form as a focal point amidst various design patterns. Into my senior year of high school, I was interested in applying to college as a student of architecture and Chicano studies. My career paths have changed multiple times throughout my stay at UNM, but the arts have been a constant passion of mine. In the years of 2018 and 2019, I worked, on, I worked with simple black and white design patterns, as well as simplistic compositions such as these. By the end of 2019, I finally settled into the BFA program and began using oil paint as my medium of choice. I played around with bright and bold colors, working to get a good grasp on consistent paint applications. I've enjoyed photography as an elective in the arts. In the summer of 2020, I began capturing dark cell portraits in, res in response to the suffocation of quarantine, sexual trauma, and familial drama. By the fall of 2020, I've decided to paint with a more natural palette, with a strong focus in skin tones. As you can see, I have carried design patterns into my oil paintings. In 2020, I began experimenting with larger scale work and palette knife paintings. I'm excited to present my most recent work a smaller scale self-portrait using oil paint and wispy details. Here are some close-up shots. Here is an in-progress painting from 2021. I am a relatively slow worker and I am often changing large segments of the canvas. So we shall see where this piece goes in, over the next few weeks. Lastly, I would like to present some internship experience of how working in the arts. I've worked under a, um, on a mural with Navajo artist Nani Chacon in the summer of 2017 and worked under the fresco master Frederico Vahil at the Albuquerque Convention Center from 2018 to 2019. Well, everyone, thank you for your time.